Vector T points along a line from C to E with unknown magnitude. Find the Cartesian form of T. This door, A, B, C, D, is 4 feet by 4 feet, and it's pivoted around the x-axis by 20 degrees. So if you were to rotate around the x-axis, put your thumb there, and rotate the door down 20 degrees, you'd find this position. We want to find T, this vector, along the line from C to E. To do that, the vector is given by its magnitude times the unit vector in that direction. So we have to find that unit vector. First thing you have to do is find the position vector. R, we'll call it R from C to E. To find that, we have to find C and E in their Cartesian points. The easy first one to start with is E. If you look in the YZ plane, E is up at a 6 feet and 2 feet. So, and with x is 0, you can write e is going to be 0, 2, 6. Finding point c is a little bit more difficult, but if you trace this same plane down to the point d, so we're now looking at the same plane at point d, point c is just down 20 degrees. Now we've gone 4 feet down the x-axis, so the x-coordinate is going to be 4. The door is also 4, so our hypotenuse there is 4. And by trig, you can write that the components here are minus 4 sine 20 in the y direction and 4 cosine 20 in the z direction. This is z. Once you have the Cartesian points, writing the position vector is just a matter of subtracting one from the other. In this case, you want to subtract c from e. So what you're going to have is 0 minus 4i check this. Is T pointing in a negative x direction or a positive x direction? Negative. So we're, we're in good shape. 2 minus the negative 4 sine 20 in the j direction and 6 minus 4 cosine 20 in the z direction. Okay. Multiply that out. R, C, E, or rather subtract it, is minus 4i plus 3.36808j, this is all from your calculator, plus 2.24123k. Make sure you're keeping enough significant digits as you're going through these problems. Once we've found the position vector, the next thing we need to do is find the unit vector. Remember, what we're looking for here is this unit vector. UCE is RCE, the position vector, divided by the magnitude of the position vector. This is like saying, go 600 miles east, now divide by 600, and you're going in the general direction of east. The magnitude of RCE, you find with the Pythagorean theorem, square each and take the square root, 4 squared, 3.36808 squared, and 2.24123 squared. That is 5.6892. Check it. Is it a reasonable number? If these doors are 4 by 4, is the distance between C and E about 5.68? Yes, it seems very good. That would be the, this is the distance from C to E. Now, the unit vector is RCE, the position vector, divided by this magnitude. So we have minus 4i plus 3.36808j plus 2.24123k divided each of these by this magnitude. Once you've done that, plug out your, pull out your calculator again. We have now the unit vector from C to E. 
check it. You always want to make sure that you're checking your work as you go through. Is this a unit vector? Specifically, does this vector have length 1? If it doesn't have length 1, you're in trouble. Now, don't get confused here. I haven't exactly left off this negative. I'm squaring it anyway, so it won't make any difference. You need to make sure that you don't end up with subtraction signs here or here. These are additions. This is, in fact, equal to 1, so we're in good shape. This is the unit vector from C to E. Now, the other thing you don't want to forget, what was the question? We were asked to find the, the Cartesian form of t, the vector t. Now, we don't know its magnitude. That's fine. It's an unknown magnitude. The unknown magnitude times our unit vector. This is our unit vector. We just found it. This is our vector t in Cartesian form.